We are talking here not about ideal farmer uh, with uh, uh, resources, uh, financial resources, with uh, 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 nice soils. We are talking here about real farms, the farms that we work with. And it's not possible to think that we are going to uh, start to work with a, a system that farmers are going to incorporate from one day to another the whole discussion about sustainable agriculture. This, this is not uh, uh, possible. This is not uh, uh, what happens in the real world. Uh, because of that, we, we are working on this concept of transition process to sustainable agriculture. What we mean for a uh, transition process? We mean that everybody can start for, uh, for one conventional farmer that is quite uh, 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 dependent of external inputs, uh, or one smallholder farmer that use most the, 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 the in, uh, in, uh, uh, inputs that they have in their own farm. Everybody can be involved in that transition process from now. A, a system that is there now to a system that is more sustainable uh, uh, and a system that are more climate resilient. And everybody can be on this transition. Uh, as I said, transition process to sustainable agriculture cannot happen uh, uh, overnight. It is complex. Uh, because we are dealing with complex farm systems uh, that cannot be transformed uh, 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 suddenly. And then the whole process of redesign the production system, it demands, it requires a series of uh, well-planned small steps uh, that you need to take. Uh, it requires also that farmers can think, prepare, test, and evaluate, monitoring, and every small, small change that they are going to implement. There are several factors that uh, can influence the speed uh, and the extent of one uh, uh, transition process. Uh, this process can be influenced by, by for example, by, for the capacity, capacity of investment of the household, and also by the availability of uh, uh, and the quality of the natural resources that they are, uh, uh, they they have access, uh, and also by the, the the climate condition and so on. Uh, systems that uh, has been uh, submitted for a long period for, uh, uh, of stress, like uh, in a very dry areas uh, in, in several parts of Latin America, Africa, and Asia, uh, can have more difficulty to, and it, it will take more time and more investment on this transition process, than uh, if you compare with a system that it is already in a nice condition, there are many uh, uh, the soil is okay, we have a lot of uh, 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 organic matter in the soil, trees and everything. And then one system that is, uh, uh, has been exposed to a, a, a stress for a long time, you have more difficulties. Uh, <clears throat> we need to think also that this transition process, it, uh, it, it needs to be made step by step. And when we say well-planned uh, 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 steps, it is because everything that you are going to, to introduce in your system is going to promote changes. Uh, even a, 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 a simple thing like uh, stop burning, for instance, uh, is going to promote changes. Uh, stop burning, at principle, it means like, well, it's quite easy. It's, it's just to avoid to burn the residues and organic materials that are there. But if you stop to burn it, you will need to have, you need to, to, to spend time working on the remotion of it, on dealing with the, the rest, the resi residues that are going to cover your soil. And then it means you, you need to work more on it.
then it will have impact in the, the labor uh, and the, 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 the time that we are going to spend working there. And then, because of that, every small step needs to be well planned and need to be uh, 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 adapted to what we, we want to do and uh, your adapted to, to, to your system. It's important to say also that transition process is not something that we start uh, uh, today and it's going to finish in one year or two. It's, it's a never-ending process. It's a continued process. You always will find some space inside your system that you can do some improvements. You, you will always find uh, uh, ways to improve your system. Uh, like, as, uh, uh, like I said, Stop burning is one, one issue. Increase uh, the organic matter content of the soil can be another. Uh, there are many initiatives and many uh, practices that we know that can help us uh, 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 on this transition process to sustainable agriculture. One of the key tasks on this transition process is to, to find ways to, to reduce the dependency for smallholder farmers from external inputs, like uh, uh, pesticides, uh, chemical fertilizers, and seeds, uh, uh, conventional seeds. Uh, and there are many, well, we can deal with uh, 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 alone, but uh, it's quite easy, it's, more, it's, it's easier when you do it with uh, uh, the rest of your community. And then, one very important uh, step that farmers need to be made need to, to, to take when they are in the transition process is to break the, 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 the isolation is to to deal, to do things together with the community is to start a process that involves the neighbors uh, because farmers need the neighbors to share seeds and to share knowledge uh, to access the market as a buyer or as a seller and then to break the isolation and to do a process of transition together with the community is a, a quite important step for smallholder farmers. We try to represent on this diagram our ideas about transition process to sustainable agriculture. We started with a participatory appraisal, a study inside the community, trying to identify the main problems, the main challenges that com the community are facing, but also the alternative that the, the community are developing. After that, we need to, together with the community, to discuss what kind, what, what problems they are going to, they think that is important to start with. We are going to deal first. What are the main challenges that they, they want to, to work with? And then, we can start to look at local level if there are alternatives that can help us to deal with this challenge or can help the farmers to deal with this challenge. It's important to say that farmers are always uh, 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 producing alternatives. They are always developing things. They are quite innovative and they are always testing things. And sometimes it's, it's difficult to find it, to see it, but if you start to look and if you start to talk with farmers about the practice, the alternatives that they are developing, you see that in every community there are some initiatives that you can use to, tackle, to, to, to deal with the problems. Sometimes uh, one farmer is developing something and even uh, 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 sh uh, her uh, or his neighbor uh, doesn't know about it. And it is important to discuss with them and to identify and to document the alternatives that they are developing. And then uh, it's important also to test at local contest uh, these alternatives to see how it works related with the, the, the problems that we, we had identified. Uh, and also uh, to implement tests, uh, but uh, tests that can be monitored and evaluated by the community itself. And we can validate and diffuse this uh, uh, local alternative or not, depending on the results of monitoring and evaluation. But it's important to say that 
sometimes uh, we cannot find at local level the practice that we need to deal with the problem. And then because of that we included here on this, the, the central part of the diagram, the whole discussion about partnership building. Uh, we are not proposing uh, that uh, we need to go back centuries and use only the, the knowledge and the practice that the smallholder farmers are, are, are using or are producing. We think that ch climate change is posing to us uh, uh, challenges that, uh, to, that uh, to be able to, to deal with it, to be able to solve this problem that climate change is posing to us. We need the combination of local knowledge, traditional knowledge, and scientific knowledge. We need the combination of the knowledge that is in universities, research centers, and uh, extension service with the local knowledge to build the real alternatives. Uh, local, site-specific, real, alterna real alternatives that we need. And then, we need to build partnership with uh, 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 universities. We need to build partnership, partnership with science. We need to be able to build this bridge between uh, scientific knowledge and local knowledge. <coughs> uh, there are uh, many practices that we already know that can help us to deal with some problems that the community uh, uh, may, may face. And uh, we, we put here many, many of practice. Uh, but there are many, many others that you can identify on the, the regime that you are working on in several other areas, in several other communities, that we can test at local level to see if it is a nice alternative to deal with the problem. Okay? If you can validate and diffuse the local tests, based on local practice or based in alternatives that uh, farmers can bring from the outside. Uh, after validated the local test in a small scale test to see if it works or not, you can think and we can, you can discuss with the community or we can discuss with the community about the implementation of these challenges, uh, uh, these changes, sorry, uh, at community level. Several farmers can then because it was validated, it was tested, they know already how to do it, you can think, or they can think, on the introduction of it in a more uh, huge scale at the community level. But then you need, again, to evaluate, to monitor it, to see if it is working. And all the, prob all the, 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 the things started again, because there are several challenges that we need to, to, to deal with, and if we, if you create a new solution, uh, you can start to work uh, with other problems and to see how the community can use the transition process to deal with several other things. 